Hello, hello. Apologies if I sound a little hoarse. I just recorded my year-end movie reviews and it was uh, like two hours. It's gonna be a lot to edit, but um, yeah, I got a lozenge in, so I should be fine. But I wanted to get this done because I got Stardew Valley the board game, finally! And this is the second printing, which actually has some uh, minor and some major changes. So I'm gonna go through and go over those with you and I will post up a list as well and there will be a link in the description to all of the different changes but this will give you an idea of what's in the second printing of Stardew Valley the board game which is almost a second edition they did like a bunch of playtesting and stuff but uh we will see so a game by Cole Medeiros and Concerned Apes Stardew Valley the board game a cooperative game of farming and friendship for one to four players ages 13 and up uh, eh. the uh, sides just have more of that cat on the shed and we have the back. Ooh, it's it's quite heavy. It's, this is a chunky game, which is good because it was it was kind of pricey. Help wanted. You've inherited your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley. Armed with hand-me-down tools and a few coins, you set out to begin your new life. Stardew Valley the board game is a cooperative experience for one to four players. Work together to fulfill your grandpa's goals and restore the once vibrant community center. If you succeed, the valley will flourish. But if you fail, the Joja Corporation will move in and the magic will fade. Plant crops, raise animals, upgrade your farm. Look at these guys. They cute. Meet the locals. Make new friends. Maybe find love? I don't know. Forge the woods. Fish the waters. Explore the mine. One to four players. Ages 14 and up. 45 minutes per player. Ah, so let's get into the actual game itself. Make sure to take off the plastic ahead of time. Uh, nothing special in the lid, which is fine. Ah, a pamphlet style rule book, not the square one. Nice. I believe, yeah, this is a game. It's a worker placement game, so it's like you just put your guy there. Um, you, you put your guy where you want to go, and then you do the thing, and then you can move and do another thing. So two actions per turn, but however many actions you have, I mean, there's a lot of spaces. It, it kind of makes me think of Village, which is good because I like Village. Looks like, yep. 23, quick rules reference. Would have preferred the rules reference be on the back, but symbol reference sheet is a little bit of a higher priority. So we will uh, we will see how that works out. Strategies and tips, which I guess is just a separate page now. Or maybe it's just something they've added after. Ah, yes, 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 see. It says the new tray. We're happy to introduce an additional storage tray for the pieces in the game, which is good because uh, one of the big things I remember hearing is that it didn't have that, so it was just a bunch of loose pieces if you didn't have any of your own bags. But yeah, the new tray. Large cards go into the top three wells, small cards into the middle three. Coins, hearts, pieces, pawns, and dice go into that one. Stack the forgeables and the animals, buildings, and joja tiles into those. Nice. Uh, oh. Looks like a couple of my guys escaped. Coop has escaped, and oh, the duck. The duck has escaped. <sighs> Tuck it in. That, ah, that's fine. So, yep, we got some punch sheets. Looks like these square ones, which, yeah, already have some popped out. Uh, that's okay. It's a bit thinner than I'd like, personally, but it doesn't feel flimsy, necessarily. I just prefer, you know, a thicker a thicker piece. So, we got all those in the Joja tiles. Then, wah, we got some player boards, heart tokens, and the coins. Yep, yep, yep. And looks like we got some uh, other... Whoa! We got a lot to punch out here. Oh my goodness, it's all punch trays, so let's see. Oh good, they're numbered. That helps me out. So there's seven of these and uh, two of those. There's this big old tray with uh, spaces for all of the square ones. There's the board and there's the new tray. Oh good! They said uh, they might be sending out some black bags instead for the fishing bags because... Uh, they had run out of the blue, but it looks like I was able to get it. Well, that's interesting. It's like soft on the outside, but the inside is like plasticky. I'm okay with that. That works for me. How's it? Ugh. It's a bit stiff to close up. That's not too bad. Ugh. Yeah, they're very kind of canvassy, though I think there's some form of plastic. Very crinkly and stiff. Oh. Ah. I don't know if you caught that on camera, but moving that around knocked off a bunch of the little bits on this. Yeah, you can kind of see them on here. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. 
Not a fan of that, personally. All right, I'm running out of space here. So yeah, we have fat stack of cards here. Mm, fat stack of cards there. Ooh, very loosely wrapped. That's that's interesting. Usually you see your cards pretty tightly wrapped in a game like this. Hmm. So uh, that helps because it looks like there's no tear strip. Ooh, although that is torn <laughs> a little bit. Um, so being loose means it'll be easier to open. So let's check this one that's already torn open a little bit. Ooh. Um, quality of these cards. Ooh. Bit flimsy. Hmm. Bit flimsy. Printing is all the way to the edge. And looks like they changed these up because of a printing error. So due to a printing error, two season cards were printed incorrectly. The updated cards can be found in this pack. So they fixed up some stuff. So yeah, let's see. The old one, it was the Spring Luau, or Summer Luau. After any player may discard crops from inventory. For each crop discard, they gain a friend. And the new one says, each player may discard one crop, fish, or forgeable to gain a heart token. So looks like they changed that. Yep, and I have the updated one. And then Spirit's Eve, it says, starting player rolls a die... If it's the uh, fruit, they complete a revealed bundle. And now it says, starting player rolls a die. If it's a Junimo, Junimo? I don't remember. It's been a while since I played the game. Uh, they complete a revealed bundle. Okay, so it just changed what you roll. That's fine. Not super stoked on the quality of the cards, but I've certainly felt worse. Um, let's see, we got our pawns. Does this, nope, not Ziploc. It's just a tear bag. Let's see how these are. Ooh. That's a nice pawn. That's pretty hefty. It's got pretty nice curves to it. A good a good surface. Some nice elegant little divot sort of situations. Oh, and we get five. I thought you could only play with up to four players. But I guess you get five pawns, so you can pick. Oh right, one of these is the spouse pawn, isn't it? In case you get a spouse. And then we got the dice. Let's see what the dice are like. All right, ooh, glossy. It's glossy dice, but then the images themselves are more matte. I like that, I like that. They have a good heft to them. I think you only do like three at a time. Nice, yeah, 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 I like the dice a lot. And like, they are custom dice, which I'm always a fan of. And then, let's really quick check out the board, or at least as best I can given the amount of space I got. It's got a very nice pebbled vinyl on the back, which feels very classy. Ooh, Fresh Creek. Oh wow, the printing is gorgeous. Look at these colors. Just this bright green, these vibrant reds popping out. My goodness. We got the community center up there. I mean, I love the art here, because it takes it takes the pixel art from Stardew Valley and it just like cleans it up. It gives it sort of a fresh look, a little bit of a different style, but it like still is clearly the same characters in a very similar style. It looks really good. Yeah, I really like that. I'm sorry I can't show the whole thing because I just, my camera won't go that high up. But um, yeah, wow. Looks very nice. I love, love the colors on this. And ooh, this pebbly back feels real nice. So. You know, I'm going back and forth on it, frankly. Uh, it's good to have the new tray, for sure. I very much appreciate that. Um, oh, wait, the bags go on the bottom. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, and the board is really nice. Not a huge fan of the cards. Um, these bags are kind of gross. I don't like this, this sort of bits that went flying off. That's a little concerning. Um, but you know what? After I punch everything out, I think it'll be pretty nice to have it all fit together neatly. And, oh, this is not going to close all the way. I'll figure that out later. I mean, I'm going to be getting rid of the punch boards and stuff after I punch them out. So, yeah. Yeah. It looks like a pretty solid uh, production. Some bits I wish they put a little more care into, like the cards, since it's a lot of cards. And like maybe a bit thicker on the tiles, but the tiles still feel pretty solid. Love the dice. Love the artwork. 
All the colors are really great. Now let me check if there's anything I should specifically look at for changes in this printing because we saw the cards. We saw um, the new tray, which is really nice. You know, it's a, a nice solid tray. In fact, I think it's even bigger than the other tray. Uh, and a lot of other things, but let's see. Okay, so the tiles apparently punch out easier because they changed up their production method. The additional tray, major change. Uh, added sheet with strategies and tips. We saw that in there. Uh, the board shows a reminder by the museum that donating artifacts and minerals grants a heart as a reward. Okay. Uh, small wording changes in the rule book. Uh, a lot of clarifications. Starting tool decks have changed. Some of the villager cards have been reworded. Profession upgrades. I'm, I mean, there's a ton of tiny changes in here. Uh, they ch slightly changed the layout on the Joja tiles. So much stuff here, but it's mainly that, that new tray is the main thing. That new sheet. And uh, I guess some new production techniques and stuff. So the production might have changed a bit. You'd have to compare with a, a first printing, which I unfortunately don't have. I would have loved to get one, but I'm kind of happy that I got this second updated one. Let me know if there's any specific questions and I'll go digging through and let you know. And uh, yeah, check in the description where I've linked to the uh, list of updates as posted by Cole Medeiros himself on Board Game Geek. So that is a precise, concisive, uh, thorough list of all the little changes in here. And yeah, I'll, I'll take pictures and stuff and post them on Board Game Geek if you want, you know. So just let me know any specific questions you have in the comments and I will address them as soon as I get a chance. But uh, yeah, with all of that said, thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to follow and subscribe. Check me on twitch.tv slash IggyKid, twitter.com slash IggyDKid. Check out my Twitch archive channel, IggyKid Twitch Archive, which has all of my past streams. Check out my other board game unboxings. Um, speaking of which, there's going to be a lot less. I was going kind of wild with them for a while because I was getting a ton of them from Ollie's, and while they were new to me... They're older games, and nobody really cared that much, so I'm going to keep it to, you know, new games, like when the, the new Root expansion comes out. When I get that, I'm going to do an unboxing of that, and like this, because it's a second printing, so there is actually something interesting to see. You know, anything that's a new game, or like a game I'm particularly interested in, or something with like a large toy factor where it's cool to see it all pulled out and set up, I'll do those, but I'm not going to do every single game I get. Like, I just got Blockus, and it's like, an unboxing of Blockus would be pointless. I, I, it's, it's plastic. But I'm glad I did this one. I like doing these. I just want to have... I want to spend less time doing the unboxings that are so low effort, and spend a little more time working on board game reviews that I want to start getting out. And, um... Uh, th there's a series I want to do about board games, and a series about game design. I want to be able to do all that, and just spending so much time on like several unboxings. I have I have a ton queued up, so they'll still be there. Anytime I don't have something else going up, there'll probably be an unboxing going up still. So if you like them a lot, appreciate you. But uh, yeah, this is the last new one I'm gonna record for a while. But with all of that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking along. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. And I hope to see you in the next bigger unboxing when I have something important to unbox. But in the meantime, go play some games, have some fun. Maybe this game, maybe another game. I don't know, but enjoy it, whatever you do. Okay, a goodbye, goodbye, a goodbye.